Greg from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at replacing the image background in the front page one widget area of the Inspire Pro theme. So let's take a look, a look at Inspire Pro. Here it is here. Uh, by default, normally there's an image that's added in the background here. This is the front page one widget uh, area. And if you go to Customize um, with a fresh copy of the theme, you can add the background image here. I've removed this and I've replaced it with this video and you can see the video is automatically playing as soon as the page loads. So um, that's what it does, it removes the, uh, the image uh, from the customizer and it just replaces it with a video which I've added to the WordPress media library. So if you go to media library, uh, you'll find that I've added this video in here somewhere. So just upload the video to your media library and when you've got that, and here it is here, just grab the full URL to the video, copy that, and you just have to paste it into the code and I'll give you the instructions for members of WPSites.net. So, so this is the effect. Uh, this is the front page two widget area. We've just got a, a Genesis feed, um, a new subscribe widget in there. Um, in the first widget area, um, there's just a blank text widget so that activates the widget. You don't put any content in there. The second second uh, widget area, we've got Genesis E News Extended. So uh, that's how it looks. I've also added some media queries, so you can really, you'll find it quite easy to make adjustments if you want it to look different on different size screens and different devices. So we scroll down here, we'll just look at the default on the full screen. You can see it, it displays perfectly. I've, I've populated a few of the widget areas with the default content the demo content. Now we'll just reduce it to check out the media queries. And as the video gets smaller, you can see it's got the, the menu effect there. Um, this widget area here will display over the bottom of the video. Now you can change the values in the media queries if you want it to go below and you want some white space between the video and the front page two widget area, or you can just remove the media queries which I've added. And if you do that, you'll get a gap which is about similar to the gap at the bottom. So that'll display uh, between the video and the front page two widget area. But the media queries I've added, just keep the uh, the front page two widget area just, just covering the, the bottom of the video. So, that's the effect that I've, I've created and uh, and that's really easy to, to change. So there it is, all the code, all the instructions and support for members of WPSites.net. Thanks for watching, see you next time, cheers.